the last video, just as I arrived at Stone. Well, I didn't actually film actually getting to the my mooring because the weather turned somewhat inclement. So I stayed at Stone for a couple of days, did a little shopping, you know, restocked the refrigerator, etc. Well, now it's time to make a move. And this journey, we're going to go from Stone to Barlston. Good morning. I've just uh, literally cast off. I'm at Stone. I'm just heading up towards Star Lock. It's about half ten in the morning, I think. It was foggy this morning, and I didn't know if I'd be making the move. I didn't want to go out and all that dampness, but suddenly the fog's cleared. And it's a lovely sunny day. So I'm definitely on the move. I'm not sure if I'm going to do four locks today or eight locks. I'm definitely going to do the four locks through stone. And it's whether I do the four locks, I think it's Misham locks or not. I haven't decided yet. We'll see when we get there. Or I'll see after I've done the four how I feel if I want to carry on. Now I need to find my hat. Which is not there. I must have left it at the front. But well, once I get to the lock, I should go and find my hat. So yeah, star lock it is, first lock. I don't need to stop and get water, I only filled up a couple of days ago. Well, as you all probably know, my boat name is Albertine, and I thought it was unique on the uh, waterways. I'd never seen another one until the tail end of last year. And I believe this is that boat, the same boat. I'll uh, sort of find the cutting of it, or the clip from it, and uh, check it out. Yes, it looks like the same boat to me. So I'm just now going into Star Lock. It's a bit of an awkward lock. It's underneath the main road bridge here. So obviously it wasn't the original bridge here. And the lock gates, the balance beams the other side, are very short. It's sort of a, a bendy bit in them. I don't know if that helps make it any easier to open and close the locks or not. So sometimes they just get in the way. Anyway, that's what we got to put up with. That's the way it's done. Once again, uh, I can't uh, jump off the boat here when there's lots of people jump off and take the rope up with me because there's no gap in the bridge. Although it's one of the old gap type bridges, there's no gap in there. And the handrails, or newer handrails that have been put on top, have no gap in them either. So there's no way of actually taking a rope up through. Once again, the lock ladder's at the wrong end of the lock for me. There's only one lock ladder. And there is the Star Pub. That's Star Lock done. One down, three to go, definitely. Maybe seven to go. See how it goes during the course of the day. It's a bit chilly still outside, so I'm not quite sure how long I'm going to carry on for today. Let's see. This is yard block just done. It's quite a deep block. We have uh, canal cruisers over here. I've forgotten their full name. We get all the uh, boats with like ginger and all that sort of thing they're called. I was close. It's the Canal Cruising Company Limited. And it looks like their fleet is all in at the moment. why I call them the ginger boats. I've just been thinking why they've possibly named all their boats ginger something or other. Now we're just about to go past Jules Stone Ells. And I believe it was Stone Ells, Stone's Ginger Wine, where it originates from. 
perhaps there's a connection there the boat's been named Ginger not sure just me speculating as we go past the brewery here you can see the Jules Stone L's up on the wall there although I believe some places pronounce Jowls I pronounce it Jules but I have heard it pronounced Jowls before all I can say is connect it whichever way you like next lock ahoy this is the one with the old horse tunnel you know the old goes underneath the roadway here we walk that way and the boat goes through the other so the tunnel on the left is for pedestrians and horses or was and the one on the right obviously is for boats I can see the lock is empty as well so that's handy what I do is open the gates Lock I go. Fortunately, another boater closed the lock gates for me. This is really impressive. Uh, uh, and people more on the lock landing. No need for it whatsoever. It means I couldn't stop there if I wanted to. Single handed boating, that's just being inconsiderate and well. I don't, can't say the words I want to use here on YouTube. There's three locks down, one to go definitely. I haven't decided if I'm doing one or four. I see the next lock is full. I don't see anyone there, or do I? So perhaps there's a boat coming down. There is. That make it easy for me going straight in. I believe there is a boat coming down. I guess some people still use a mangle to do their washing and in the canal. Yes, there's a boat definitely coming down and just gone into the lock. Well, the boat's just come out of that lock, of course. I'm just going in. Makes it a lot easier when you don't have to open gates. Makes it easier for them not closing gates easier for me not opening them well that's the four locks done up through stone do I do the mission locks or not I think I probably will let's go for it feeling good so tally ho that way I always find this quite an interesting little boat yard here there always seems to be something going on got a big crane there for lifting boats out yeah and the signals at the back and all sorts of things yeah it's a bit different a bit interesting quite enjoy coming past there and interesting old work boats as well not a foreign flag to be seen thank you more signals and the signal box. Look at that. Bridge 96 on the TM. And I'm betting the next one's 96A. The new road bridge. Yes, it is. It's 96A. Well, I have made that executive decision. And I've decided I am going to carry on. Yeah, I'm going to probably get up to Barlston. Bar I will probably get up to Barlston today. Well, that's my plan anyway now. Anyway, so uh, yeah, 
should be in favour for me as well because there's only been boats coming down. No one going up. Well, that's the first one of the Mersham locks done. I set the second one and I'm going to go straight in there. It's another one of these pounds which when you flop the bottom lock and I didn't have any water to drop out the uh, next lock, it gets very shallow in here. And I have run aground trying to get off the boat in this pound before, so I didn't take any risks today. I'm, uh, I'll set the next lock and I'll go straight in there, then come back and close the gates down here. So now I haven't left the gates, I will be back to do them. That's well, two locks done. Well, basically, I just got to shut the gates on this one when I leave. Two to go. And that's it for the day. That's, that'll be eight locks today. Yeah, I've done enough. I must admit, it's quite a nice little area here by Bridge 97 here. All the trees here by the locks. Yeah, it's very nice. I like, rather like it here. Lots of bird song as well. Well, the towpath does swap sides here. This is a turnover bridge here, Roman Bridge, uh, Snake Bridge, whatever you want to call it. But as soon as we do the next two locks, no, a little bit further up, it's not far we go before it swaps back over again. Well, this is a fun lock to operate. I'll show you what I mean, not fun. Oh, we've got a sign, been there a long time. You can't walk across the lock here because the walkway's broken. So I thought I'd operate the lock from this side only. So I can't operate the lock from this side only because the winding gear's broken. Yeah, fun, eh? Well, I'm just coming into my last lock of the day. This is lock eight for me today. I'm starting to get tired and hungry. Horrible little lock this because uh, you have to uh, cross the main road. Anyway, so let's go and get this lock done. There's a boat following me, so I'll get out of their way. Well, this very kind gentleman has just helped me on these uh, last couple of locks from the lock gates. Very much appreciated. Thank you very much. So that's the eight locks done. Oh, I'm getting old or out of practice. Probably both. My next stop is Balston. More up there for the night. And I might try and do Stoke Locks tomorrow. We'll see. See how I feel. Whilst I'm editing this video, my GoPro won't switch on and off properly. So I've just bought a new one. Ouch. I hope you'll keep watching. It's just cost me a lot of money. Well, we didn't have to go very far to find the next turnover bridge. As I say, the uh, towpath changed sides for a little while. Two bridges after coming at the top lock. It changes back sides again. Back sides, it changes sides again. Perhaps that's any better. No back sides involved. And this is on bridge 100. Well, as I come under bridge 103 here. I've reached Bileson and the Plume of Feathers. You'll see straight away on our left hand side here. And that's a Neil Morrissey pub. Well, you can see next week's episode starts right here at Bileson. Well, that's the end of it for this week, folks. Uh, yes, um, don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. It really helps to boost the old numbers up and YouTube push my videos out elsewhere. I need all the help I can get at the moment. I just had to buy a new GoPro. Anyway, I want to keep the videos coming to you, so I need that new GoPro. Of course, a big thank you goes out to everybody that supports the channel. I really, really appreciate it. But that just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.